ready today to enter into the EU, but that's not really the question. Uh, none of the candidate states in preceding accessions were ready to join the EU the day that they began negotiations. The question is whether the EU can exert su sufficient leverage uh, to make sure that, that the Ukraine is uh, Ukraine is robust institutionally and uh, fully democratic by the time that it is ready to join the European Union. The fact that Ukraine is not ready now is not a reason not to begin the process and try and make sure that process happens as quickly as possible. What do we think about the claims that the European Union wants to be a geopolitical actor, that it claims a role in the continent? What better tool than enlargement uh, that could not only include these countries or bring these countries closer to the EU, but also inject the IDS related to democracy, good governance, rule of law at the same time. But for that to work, we definitely need to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Because if the candidate countries don't see that there's a real prospect of membership in the future, they will never go for the reforms needed for, for, for membership. It's a long, long process with multiple steps. The EU has to negotiate many different policy areas, what it calls chapters. These are very complex, very technical. Um, the, the EU can either decide to slow things down or speed things up to some extent if it's keen to get uh, Ukraine in. And as we have seen with countries like Turkey, countries in the Balkans, uh, this can be a, a long, drawn-out process. And fundamentally, if things go politically wrong, politically backwards in the applicant countries, in effect, the whole accession process can be put on ice.